sea light diatomaceous earth filterades have led the way in cost-effective filtration performance for nearly a century. Diatomaceous earth, or kieselger, is made from diatomite rock, a natural deposit of the remains of fresh water or marine algae that have pure silica skeletons. The excellence of kieselger in many filtration applications is attributed to its intricate microporous structure. Although Kieselger will provide excellent immediate clarity, because it has no effect on soluble components of the beer, it has no stabilizing power against the inherent instability of beer. The most frequent cause of haze in packaged beer is protein polyphenol interaction, forming insoluble complexes, resulting in a colloidal suspension. These particles scatter transmitted light and are observed as a degradation in the clarity of the beer. For this reason, an absorbent product is needed such as silica gel and or PVPP. These stabilizers remove the soluble components that are responsible for deterioration of the beer after packaging during storage on the supermarket shelf. Sea light synergy absorbs proteins that form haze when a beer is chilled. It is used as a direct replacement for silica hydrogels and zero gels. Hydrogels contain 60 to 70% moisture. Zero gels have 2 to 10% moisture. Zero gels are microbiologically stable, whilst hydrogels require preservatives, such as sulfur dioxide. Sea light synergy typically contains 1% moisture, so is also microbiologically stable. Although silica gels are extremely effective at extending the shelf life of beer, they directly affect the mechanical filtration characteristics of the beer. Their size, shape and relatively low permeability make them poor contributors to the overall filtration efficiency. Even if the gel is added earlier in the process and subsequently removed with the yeast at the lagering stage, there are still gel fines left in the beer that may be difficult to filter out. The silica gel manufacturers have been trying to increase the permeability of their gels to improve the filtration properties. Imaris has succeeded on a similar idea, but working from the other direction. Sea light synergy is a fully functioning absorbent of haze forming proteins that also has excellent filtration characteristics. Under the microscope, it is indistinguishable from a regular Kieselger. It is not a blend of Kieselger and regular silica gel. Sea light synergy does not introduce any new materials to your brewery and is approved for beer processing by the FDA for beer production. It is a Food Chemical Codex compliant diatomite product. The shape and size of silica gel means that it behaves very much like a yeast cell. This in itself can cause blockage of the filter thus requiring additional filter aid to keep the filter bed open. Due to its compressibility, silica gel degrades the performance of itself by forming a seal between the diatom and the silica gel particle. This limits the exposure of the silica gel itself to the beer, thus reducing the stabilization efficiency. At the same time, the particle capturing efficiency of Kieselger is reduced by the presence of silica gel. The compressible silica gel blinds the structure of the Kieselger, reducing its ability to capture beer solids. This animation illustrates how, when using conventional silica gels, the surface of the filter becomes blocked. This results in an increase in filtration pressure, which reduces filtration capacity. To compensate for this increase in pressure, more filter aid has to be added which then fills the space between the filter plates or candles, further reducing the filter run length. With sea light synergy, the absence of such blockages means that there is less filter pressure increase, so that filter aid dosing can be reduced. The result? Longer filter run lengths and less powder usage. The starting point for sea light synergy application rates can be estimated based on your current silica gel usage. Zero gel users should take their current zero gel usage and use 1.5 to 2 times that to derive the sea light synergy dosage. Hydrogel users should take their current hydrogel usage and use 0.7 to 1 times that to derive the sea light synergy dosage. Remember, 
you'll need to reduce your conventional Kieselger dosage significantly. Additionally, as sea light synergy requires no specific contact time, it works immediately upon contact with the beer. It can be added directly to the Kieselger dosing tank and thus eliminate the need for a separate silica gel dosing tank pre-inlet buffer tank. An Imaris filtration and stabilization expert can assist you in optimizing your process by making dosage recommendations and testing for permanent and chill haze in real time through the use of our proprietary portable Chapon technology. Sea Light Synergy is a sustainable solution that can reduce total powder usage and reduces spent cake. It also means less cleaning of the filter. The use of Sea Light Synergy can also help to reduce water and energy footprints for breweries. Sea Light Synergy allows the selective absorption of a haze forming protein, providing extended shelf life without impacting foam stability or sensory profile. Sea Light Synergy can increase productivity with longer filtration cycles, less filter downtime, lower beer losses, and with no requirements for contact or hydration time. The use of Sea Light Synergy can help a brewery to reduce costs through reduced powder usage, reduced energy and water consumption, and improved filtration efficiency. Sea Light Synergy can help to simplify the filtration and stabilization process, a single product that both filters and stabilizes. Sea Light Synergy is compatible with existing filtration equipment, requiring no capital expenditure. Thank you for listening to this podcast. For more information on the beer stabilization and clarification benefits of Sea Light Synergy, please visit sealightsynergy.com or email us at sealightsynergy at imaris.com.